so it's lunchtime and today i decided to show you what i'm going to have for lunch and it's very simple and very quick so i have a couple of ingredients i'm going to be using i'm going to be using potatoes carrots red pepper gorgeous or zucchini onion um uh, garlic i'm using three cloves of garlic for my spices i'm going to be using garlic powder oregano cayenne i need some heat because i'm the only one who's going to eat or someone else is going to volunteer i'm going to be using cayenne and thyme also i'm going to be using salt black pepper ground ginger cooking oil and mixed spices that is what i'm going to be using for my veggies so today we are making pan fried potatoes carrots and gadgets <laughs> i don't know if that makes sense it is a very long name but in short we are making veggies for my lunch so to start off i'm going to be using my pan here So first thing first, I'm going to start off by prepping my veggies. So here I have my chopping board and on medium heat, I'm going to switch on my gas, add a little bit of cooking oil, one tablespoon of cooking oil. Then as my pan gets hot, I'm going to chop my onion. So it is a very quick recipe. So I've just cut my onions into medium sizes, <laughs> medium size. So I'm going to get my spatula. Then I'll check on my pan. And because it's hot, I'm going to add onions. So I've said I'm using medium flame. Then because I'm using garlic, I'll put this in my mortar and I'll use my pestle. I'm going to add a little bit of salt so that it can help me crush the garlic. Then I'm going to, oopsie. <laughs> I'm going to use my pestle and crush the garlic into a paste. You know when you have kids in the house, you can't keep anything good. Yeah, they're just going to break. My pestle is missing because it got broke. So I'm using my wooden one. But they still work the same. <laughs> so I'm going to check on my onions. I don't want them to brown a lot. I just want a little bit of browning. As my onions cook, I'm going to slice my carrots. So I'm chopping my carrots in medium size. You can chop however you like to have your carrots. Then to my pan, I'm going to add my carrots because they usually take a little bit of time while cooking. Stir. That garlic is so flavorful. Mm. So you're going to saute the carrots for one minute. Next, I'm going to chop my potatoes. So this is easy peasy. You can chop as you cook. Also, my veggies are clean. And if you miss the ingredients, you can check them in the description box down below. So I'm trying to cut. So I'm trying to cut my potatoes into equal sizes. Sometimes during supper or dinner, I like having my veggies because they don't have any. They don't have a lot of calories. They just have minimal calories and 
I am good to go. If I have this at 7, I'm good to go until the next day at 12 because I'm doing intermittent fasting. So to this, I'm going to add my potatoes. Stir. Just before I add my capsicum, I'm going to add my garlic powder and thyme, oregano and cayenne. And I'm going to stir. So I'm cooking my veggies with very little oil. Then I'll add this to my pan as well. And lastly, I'm going to add my zucchini. So I'm using half of it. Then I'm going to add that as well in my pan. Stir. We have the red, the orange, the green, and it's looking nice. So to my pan, I'm going to crush my mixed spices, just a little bit of mixed spices. A little bit of salt because I had added salt in my mortar. Just a little bit. A quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And a quarter teaspoon of ginger ground ginger then i'm going to add a little bit of water just a little bit like about a quarter a quarter cup of water so that my potatoes can cook so i'll have this for lunch or supper and if i have more leftovers i'll put in the fridge and have later so i'm going to add water then you're going to let this cook for around five minutes on low. So you'll keep stirring as they cook because you want the potatoes to cook evenly. So you stir and also don't forget to check the seasoning. So I'm going to have a bite at the carrot and check the seasoning. Mmm. I love the heat from the cayenne and mixed spices. So what I need to add is a little bit of salt. So if you have more veggies in your refrigerator or your pantry, you can as well add them to this recipe because these are just veggies. You can add anything, anything you have, whether it's broccoli, cauliflower, whatever you have and it's going bad or you are intending to eat vegetables you just add them in this pan and it will be good <laughs> so it's been around five minutes of cooking and my vegetables are looking amazing i've been tossing them around so that they can cook evenly and as you can see the gorget and the carrots are still crispy you don't want to lose that crispiness so don't overcook also the potatoes. So they are ready to serve. So I'm going to turn off the heat. Then I'm going to serve in my bowl. Mm. Looks amazing. So you can have your veggies with skumawiki or spinach or collard greens. Are they called collard greens? <laughs> I love everything about this meal because it is full of veggies and it's going to keep me full until tomorrow at 12. So I hope you make yourself this pan fried garlic veggies and you're surely going to enjoy each and everything. Also, you can check out my other veggie recipes in the description box down below and you will enjoy each and every. So, bye.